and I always dream about sucking a dick. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I was joking? Uh, welcome back, fucking piece of shit clank. Um, my dream wasn't really that, uh, it was actually rather, it kind of pissed me off, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm sorry. Um, recently, uh, I had a falling out with a girl that I was interested in, and for like the 20th time this has happened to me, uh, where the girl went for somebody else as opposed to myself. That's an odd number. <clears throat> I, I'm just saying, it's happened yeah, way too many times for me to count. And, um... Oh, oh my god, I just made that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and it just so happened that the other day, I fucking... I, I, I saw the, her walking hand in hand with the dude that she, you know, went with. Yeah. And it's like, that's just like the life rubbing it in my face, you know? And he's one of those, like, kind of like, uh, what's that one, I don't know, I don't want to bring up names or anything, <clears throat> but, um, he's kind of like one of those, like, uh, like, I'm not going to say, like, a heavier set guy, but he's kind of a bigger dude, and he was wearing, like, you know, those, like, old-fashioned, like, 20s cabbie hats? You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's I wearing one of those. Okay. And, for whatever reason, I don't know why I had this dream, but I just had this dream that... Him, myself, and the girl that I was interested in were all hanging out, and he was, like, trying to, like, be all chummy with me, and I'm just like, you fucking douche. I'm like, I, I think, like, I was, like, kind of giving him that treatment of, like, he's a douchebag, mm -hmm. but he actually, it actually turned out he was really nice, but I'm still kind of, like, resenting him, because I'm like, you well, yeah. fucking asshole, you know? <laughs> and that's all it was. It was just me, like, we were just sitting at, like, a bistro or something like that, like, just hanging out. I'm like, this dream sucks. This dream's weird. I'm, I, I, I just, I feel like I had that thought as I was dreaming it. Like, this is dumb. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I sincerely think I was, like, somewhere in the back of my head as I'm, like, you know, experiencing this dream. I'm just like, this is fucking stupid. I hate it. I just want to wake up. I wish I, I wish I, I wish I had, like, you know, because I've heard some people, like, they get... They become self-aware that they're in a dream, and then they, like, can manipulate their dreams. Yeah, I've, I've had that a couple I've times. I've never been able to do that. And it's like, you can't just do it. But, I mean, it's like... You know? Yeah. It's like, I, I wish I could do that, because then I could just fucking punch him in the face. And just be like... Stop it! You see, I can't punch anyone in my dreams. I cannot be physically violent to them. I wish I could. Because every time I do... It feels like I am, uh, what you call it, it feels like I am the weakest person in the world whenever I go to punch someone in my dream. <laughs> and then they they don't feel it as if, you know... Are you talking like physically weakest? Yeah, like physically weakest. Like okay. I cannot punch anyone in my dreams. Because you're just, you're just a puss. Yeah, I'm like physically... I, I look the same, I feel strong and everything, but, it's like you have but no once muscles. I throw that punch it's like... <clears throat> Yeah, okay. All right. And it's like, I it's, not like you, it's not like you don't want to. Yeah, I want to. I really want to punch this person, but I've my, never punched my brain just won't let me. Actually, that's a lie. I punched some kid in, like, fucking, uh, like, second grade because we were arguing over a kickball game that didn't even matter. <clears throat> I used to punch I did, I punched, I punched, I punched him in the stomach, but I didn't even, like, hit him that hard at all. And he cried. <laughs> he punched me. He punched first. Okay, yeah. I was merely retali retaliating, and his punch didn't hurt either. Yeah, I like, was. He, he, uh, like, it's like we didn't even try. We're just, eh, you know, it's just kind of one of those eh, real quick little jab thingies. Yeah, that's basically what it was. I know I'm normally one of those people that likes to, you know, this uh, kind of. Hey, I don't. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you what's up. And then, you know, I things... punch you in the fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I'm normally not violent, but I used to be. I used to be really fucking violent. <laughs> like, obnoxiously. Really? Like, I, I used to get into fights constantly. Hmm. I never would have known that. Yeah. I've never been in a fight, and I can not I can honestly say I don't think I really want to be in one, but there has been times where, like, I dream about, like... 
in injuring other people. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> there's another girl that dumped me, or like, you know, that didn't. <clears throat> she went out with some other guy or whatever. And uh, I was at a Tigers football, or not, a Tigers baseball game. I didn't know the Tigers played no. football. <laughs> I can <could> see <laughs> baseball they players. <laughs> Fucking tigers and Lions here. are the same thing, whatever. Lions, Tigers, and Bears, oh my. Fuck you. Anyway, she was supposed to be there because she sang in the choir thing or whatever. And I and we had nosebleed seats, right? Because we always get the nosebleed seats. Yeah. But I had dreams of her like coming up and sitting like around near me, and I just wanted to fucking kick her ass down the stairs. I remember you telling watch me her about this. And just watch her tumble down these concrete <laughs> stairs, and then like fall off of the balcony and like land like neck <laughs> like, first. like like land neck first on a rail or yeah. something. Like, I sincerely, like, kept dreaming of that as I was sitting there not watching this baseball game. <laughs> Taylor, make sure, uh, I never piss you off before we go to a baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it's like, if I turn gay and you reject me, then I'd be really fucking upset. Alright? Well, I'm not gonna lead you on. I'm gonna I be like, dude. Not. I hope not, because that's like, that's like, that's I weird. have the worst luck with that. <laughs> It was like all these girls lead me on, and then I'm, and then like it's just like, oh, this other guy has a you know smaller dick than you. I want him, you know, or whatever. <laughs> the the best way <laughs> two inches soft, <laughs> two inches soft, <laughs> three hard. No, it's always best two and a half hard. <laughs> three soft, two and a half hard. Yeah. <laughs> So, seven inches soft, <laughs> three inches hard. Do you think there's a guy out there who has that problem? Maybe. <laughs> Let's get off of dicks, okay? We we said we weren't gonna. <laughs> hey, you're the one who <laughs> brought it up. I I didn't mean to. I, I apologize. Fucking asshole. What is it? Oh, yeah, you. Is there another. Oh, hold on. You gotta I'm get someone up there first, yeah, yeah, and then. On. I don't know if I gave myself enough time. No, um, not at all. I thought it was going to... Whatever. Fuck you. And now this guy's just going to stop short. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Way too long. Way too fucking long. <laughs> I want to make sure how to get him up there, man. <laughs> and then he's going to go on to that one, I think. Yeah. See, the first time you do these puzzles, they're actually, like, act, you know, a little challenging. Bit of trial. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more trial and error. But I mean, it's not terrible. <clears throat> I say we're fucking... Oh, my God. I had to wait three seconds longer than what I wanted. You're making this last forever. I'm sorry. I gotta be perfect, you bitch. Oh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> Fucking try it. Fucking try it, you piece of shit. I'm gonna eat you! Well, apparently not. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go. I'm a nash See, I have anything else new to share with the audience, Billy, that isn't gonna offend anybody watching? I'm moving out. School's out forever. Well, for certain, for certain people, that's true. I'm moving out. You know that yeah, Billy Joel song? Ex- oh, yeah. Excited about that? Yeah. It'll be nice to live on my own, and when I mean my own, I mean with four other people. Do you ever think three about of which like, I know? Two, one of them I do not know. How awesome would it be if you had, like owned your own house, though? Like I know we're not like it's, like we're probably gonna be at the point soon where we're living on our own, but I mean it's just like you can just do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. It'll be uh... like you come home from work one day and you're just like, I feel like being naked, so you just be naked. Well, I do that already. It's just I well, can't walk outside of my room. You're naked with your with your boxers on. Yeah. You're naked underneath your boxers. <laughs> I'm always naked underneath my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> Could you, I can imagine walking up to somebody. I'm naked underneath this. <laughs> you're, just, you're just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. Psst. <laughs> I'm naked under this. Yeah, I know. Me too. Well, <gasps> butt buddies. I remember hearing some dude down at Wayne State, like, um, 
And I and I, I think about this every time I see him now. I don't talk to him ever, but like I see him like fairly often. I remember overhearing that. Close the window. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid cow. Oh, I listen to Limp Biscuit out there or whatever. Fuck you, people. I remember. No, I was listening. I was over because I. This is. We talked about this before too. How I just sit around and like I just listen to people talk. <laughs> I don't engage in the conversation. I just listen. <laughs> yeah. No, but this guy was talking about how he doesn't wear underwear for some reason, because he's like, it's such a like pointless, you know, article piece of clothing. Yeah, he's like, it's such a pointless article of clothing. What's the point of wearing it? So now every time I see him, I'm like, his dick is just in there. <laughs> like it's always in there. It's just touching his pants. I know, but it's like that's I don't know. I just I find that weird, like to not wear underwear. I mean, I've done it a couple times. It's not something that I do normally. Yeah, but I I couldn't do that. It, it'd just be too. It'd be like people know, and I think like he was talking about they like know. he was talking <laughs> he was talking about how it was his birthday or something like that, and he um it's my birthday. It was his birthday or something like that, and his grandma made him some like linen pants or something like that. Uh, linen pants. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but that's what he had gotten. So he wanted to wear them because it's like, you know, his grandma made him some pants or whatever, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy, so then, pants. so then, he's wearing them at his party just talking to people. And they're outside or whatever, it's like a barbecue sort of thing or something like that. And he, um, it started raining, like, heavily out of nowhere. Oh, God. And he just, like, was standing in the rain and he got soaked. And then, naturally, since he's got linen pants on... You could see everything once they're wet. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So then, like, somebody pulled them aside and they're just like, Yeah, you might want to go put some different pants on or something like that, because, yeah, we can see everything. (laughs) Yeah. So it's like. Straight up dick and So his ass and dick were just like, you know, everybody could see. Good times. So that's why Mm -hmm. I think it's important to wear some kind of. uh, Underwar. Underwar. Because it'd just be like, I don't know, it just seems weird. Like, cause if I'm like if I'm wearing these shorts and then they get soaked, I mean, yeah, you're, you're gonna see some uh, dickitude, some three inch, <laughs> seven inch, uh, flaxen. seven inch soft. <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody in the world who has that ailment, that malady of having a fucking bigger soft dick. <laughs> it's like the same thing of uh, having a. An erection for soft penises. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have a fetish for soft penises. <laughs> I always like that, like, fucking, like, oxymoron. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. oh. <laughs> it's just like, once you're hard, it's like it's over. <laughs> But God damn it, Taylor! That's that's now another time you brought up dicks. I know. I'm sorry. Can we just have a dickless conversation? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, we have. Yeah, we have. We've many, had many times. <laughs> We're talking about fucking uh, porn. All in those like last couple episodes. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. No thanks. Mm. Oh. Okay. So. Oh God. What? I brought up porn, and then you're like, okay, I've got something to say now. <laughs> well, I mean, I could say something more about that oh. site. They updated it again. Oh, did they? Yeah. What do they got on it? Just real quick, what do they got? Uh, they we did a thing for Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I don't know why he chose it, but it was Danny Phantom's mom. I don't even know what she looks like. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I, I looked up like... Phantom's mom, huh? Who? That's very... That's oddly specific. Yeah. Well, it's like Static Shock from Cartoon Network or whatever. Yeah, basically. Like having his fucking dad on there or something. But yeah, so, uh... Subsequently, it was uh, him eating his uh, his own mother's asshole. Oh, and, um... That's... Yeah, that was about it. That's... Okay. <laughs> that... I didn't care for it too much. <laughs> I, I wouldn't either. But, uh... Even if I was into that stuff, I'd be like, oh, that's good. The, the thing is that made it even more awkward was 
the he put in the, the description he always like happy mother's day you know go go give your mom some presents or something you know show her that you love her <laughs> or really show her that you love her and i'm like eh. it's funny because it's like the way that you like talk about the way that he like you, the way that you would talk it like in his voice it seems like he's a really normal guy he is he actually <laughs> is he is a normal guy but well, he just likes drawing cartoon pornography yeah that's all he does. I guess it's no different than that one artist who, hate to bring up Dick again, but he paints with his dick and balls. You ever seen that guy? No, I have not. He por- he painted a portrait of Daniel Tosh before. Oh. With his dick and balls. Not like bad. Yeah. Yeah, these factories suck. I just I don't know. Speaking like, of I just, the game, I just once. I just can't like imagine. I can't. Well, I just can't. No, I can't imagine. First of all, I can't even imagine looking at that stuff, let alone drawing it. Like, what kind of mindset do you have to be in in order to be like Danny Phantom eating out his mom's asshole? Well, this is what he says. Where's the battle puck? There it is. He he watches shows, cartoons, and stuff like that, and he wants to bone the characters. So then he just he he draws the characters boning. Like the, mo- <laughs> like he took Radical Ed from uh, Cowboy Bebop. No, please God, no. And put put her, you know, in her pants and stuff, and then pantsless. And in the thing it says, Radical Ed, I love Cowboy Bebop, and man, would I fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, does he have like Dora the Explorer on there too? I no, mean, like, jeez. No. I mean, it's like <laughs> there's League I of Legends, those, there's I Kim get, Possible. I think I've seen Kim Possible stuff. There's unintentionally, lots of lots of different things. But like, the thing of it is, for me, it's like if they're actually like if they look like a human, then I'd be like, if they were real, I'd ask them out. Because <laughs> it's like when you say I would fuck the shit out of him, that just means you can just do that. Yeah. Like that's not like I don't think that's gonna happen. So, You're not just gonna bump into her on the street and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna fuck you," and then yeah. just do it. And then Radical Edward will be like, "Okay, <laughs> all right." Next time on Chin Strap Chaps, we're gonna erase our memories and not talk about this anymore. Full circle. Mm-hmm.